Hello YouTube viewers and random Robot Wars fans, with the end of the 2016 series comes a new Grand Champion in Apollo, who joined the elite ranks of Typhoon 2, Tornado, Razor, Chaos 2, Chaos 2 again, Panic Attack and Roadblock in the annals of robotic history. And if you'd like to create a model of our new UK Champion, well then you've come to the right place. Welcome to the return of Robot Wars competitor models, Build an Apollo. In order to create the 2016 series winner, you will need the following. An empty tissue box or some white craft card, some corrugated cardboard, some sellotape, print stick, scissors, a black pen, a ruler, some black duct tape, a sheet of white unlined paper, and a black sharpie marker. You will also need these instructions, which can be found on my Facebook page. A link to them is present in the description below. Okay, let's get started. First of all, open up the tissue box by cutting along its side panel and flattening it out. Then on the bottom section, draw out the plans from the instructions. Take your time and make sure you get all the measurements and angles correct. If so, then hopefully you will have something which looks like this. Now for something a little different. Use your print stick to coat the sections of the robot which you've just drawn out, except for the two lower side panels in blue. Next, we're going to add that white online paper to the top of the plans. The reason for this is because Apollo is completely white, but the card is not. If you chose to use white craft card, then you don't need to do this, and of course, alternatively, you can use model paint to achieve the white bodywork look. Once the glue is dry, flip the card over and on the back attach a layer of black duct tape. This will strengthen the interior of the robot, and it'll mean you won't see the graphics from the card used to create it when the flipper is open. Now cut out all the pieces of the robot, you will see that they have a nice white side and a tough black interior. At this point, bend the back panel to a 45 degree angle as indicated on the instructions and draw all of the detail of Apollo onto its corresponding sections, such as the checker designed on the side of the flipping arm and the wheels on the bottom. You will also want to add a small strip of corrugated card to the back of the flipper arm to make it more durable. Next up, coat all of the panels in tape to stop the white paper becoming damaged or dirty. At this point, we're ready to start assembling the pieces. Attach the back panel and the two lower side panels to the back and sides of the base. Bring these up and tape the lower side panels to the sides of the back as well. So now you will have something which looks like this. You can also draw out these interior panels, which are 12 cm by 5 cm with angles cut out at the rear. These are attached parallel to each other down the middle of the robot and they really just help strengthen it and keep its shape and here you can see Apollo is really starting to come together. Now it's just a matter of adding the side panels and taping those in place. Attach the flipper by its end using tape, and there you have your very own Apollo competitor robot. And here it is. Now bear in mind this is the first brand new machine that I have built since I was about 14 so it's a little ropey in places. If the instructions aren't exact then simply cut down the various panels to match. I think I've done alright all things considered but it's not completely perfect. As you can no doubt see it shares a similar design to one of my other competitor models Chronic 3 which has also been part of my competitor model series and an instructional video of it is also available online. As for Apollo, the corrugated cardboard really helps strengthen that launcher, making it capable of flicking even the classic series pullback toys around. Please give making this machine a go, and let me know how you get on with it, make a video or something. And don't forget, how to builds for Behemoth, Storm 2 and Mute from the classic series are also available online as well. Uh, so that brings us to the end of this video. I really hope you liked it. If you did and you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe for more videos and keep up to date with all my latest news and reviews by liking my Facebook page and following me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.